Welcome to Solve It with SpeedTech. In this video, I will teach you how to connect two Windows 10 computer systems together on a network without the use of an internet router, but with just a network cable. I will also show you how you can share files among the two connected computer systems using simple file share setting on your computer. The simplest method to connect two computer systems without using the internet is through an ethernet cable. Once the connection is established, the two systems can share files between them and also view and edit those files. You will learn the step-by-step -step method to establish a connection between two computers using an Ethernet cable. Before we begin, this is the front view of my first desktop computer. And this is the back view of the computer. This is the front view of my second desktop computer. And this is the back view of the computer. The step to connect two computer systems together works on both laptop computer and desktop computer with Ethernet port enabled. The first step to consider is to ensure the two selected computer systems support Ethernet cable. As you can see here, my two selected computer systems have the specified port for the Ethernet cable. You can call it local area network port, LAN port, or Ethernet port. If either or both systems do not support Ethernet cable, then an external Ethernet adapter such as this. Or this is required. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable in the first system, and the remaining end in the second system. You will notice the proof of connection here once the both ends of the Ethernet cable are properly plugged into the two computer systems. In the situation where you did not notice such sign, you need to confirm if the Ethernet port of any of the computer is functioning. Once the Ethernet cables are plugged in both systems, open control panel of the first computer, press the start button and type control panel, or press the window and type control panel and press enter. In the control panel environment, select network and sharing center. You can also select network and internet before selecting network and sharing center depending on the view of your control panel environment. From upper left portion of screen, select change advanced sharing settings. Under private, network discovery, select turn on network discovery option. Under file and printer sharing, select turn on file and printer sharing option. Under guest or public, Network Discovery. Make sure you select Turn On Network Discovery option. And under File and Printer Sharing, select Turn On File and Printer Sharing option. Then under All Network, Password Protected Sharing, select Turn Off Password Protected Sharing. Then click on Save Changes. You have successfully enabled your computer to be discovered and share files, printer and folders with another system on the network. Having done that, the next thing is to change your computer name and description. The reason for changing the computer name and description is to give your computer a unique name and description different from the default name and description it came with when you purchased it. The second reason is that if your computer is connected with other computer systems on a network workgroup, your system will easily be recognized among other systems. So changing your computer name and description to something more descriptive is definitely helpful. The steps to changing your computer name and description are as follows. Right click on the Windows button and select System. On the system environment, you will see the default computer name as displayed. Select Change Settings. Type your computer description. To rename this computer or change its domain or workgroup, click Change. On the Computer Name Domain Changes dialog box that will appear you, will see the default computer name. Type your new computer name. Leave the workgroup as it is and click OK. There is an error message. 
The new computer name Speedtech Server contains characters that are not allowed. Characters that are not allowed include all these as stated. The only thing we will do here is to remove the space between Speedtech and Server. Instead of Speedtech Server, I will type Speedtech Server because while naming your computer, space and special characters as specified are not allowed. So click OK and effect the correction. Then you will get a notification informing you that you must restart your computer to apply the changes. Before restarting, save any open file and close all program. Click OK. Click Apply. And click Restart Now. You can also choose to restart later. But is good, you restart immediately so that changes can take effect. The system have finished restarting. The next thing is to share file or folder with another system. I will create a new folder and call it Office Files. In this folder, whatever file I have inside the folder will be accessed from the second system. To share the folder, right-click on the folder and select Properties. On the dialog box that will appear, select the Sharing tab. Click on Advanced Sharing and select Share this folder. Click on Permission. Select Full Control. Click Apply and click. OK. I want to now copy files into the new folder that I created. Having done that, I will now open the second computer system to see if I will be able to see the first computer system and access the shared folder. On the second computer, repeat all the steps by enabling the system for file sharing, changing the computer name and description. Now on the second computer, click on the Windows button and type Computer. Select this computer. Select Network by the size of this computer environment. You will now see that the two computers linked together are displaying with their unique name. The first computer name is Speedtech Server, while the second name is Speedtech Client. I want to now access the shared folder on the first computer Speedtech Server. Select and double-click the first computer to open it. These are the shared folder, including the one I created previously. Double-click and open the shared folder. Now, I have a network error message. You do not have permission to access the shared folder on the first computer. This is not always the case, but in the situation where you encounter this network error message, here is one thing you will do to solve the problem. Go back to the shared folder you created on the first computer. Right-click on it and select Properties. Select the Security tab at the top. To change permissions, click Edit. Click on Add right here. Click on Advanced. Click on Find Now button right here. Scroll down and select Everyone and click OK. At this point, click OK. Select Full Control to enable everyone to have full control. Click Apply. Click OK. Click OK. Then go back to the second computer. Immediately, you click Close, 
you will have access to the shared folder. Double click and open the shared folder. Now you can have access to the shared folder and the files inside the folder. I will now create a folder on the second computer. Share the folder to see if I can access it on the first computer. Just repeat the same process of the first computer. This is the first computer accessing the files on the second computer. This is a very simple method of connecting two computer systems together to share files and folders. In my next video, I will teach you how to share and use one printer with two or more computer systems. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share with your friends. If you want more of videos like this, click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification button. See you in the next video.